Good morning guys, welcome back to this absolutely beautiful mod by Red Ketchup, Editor's Choice. Look at this. I tell you, we have some really pink meat here. My goodness. These are the butchers, I presume. Yes. My goodness me. They want more bison. <laughs> oh, have we run out of bison again? <laughs> Well, it says there are six of 19. I don't believe it for one minute. Okay, guys, now, where to start? I'm picking up on comments that uh, have taken place over some time. Oh my goodness, look at this. Death, we start with death. Have we got uh, 2.30? Yeah, we're okay on that. All right, now we have an orchard here. Let's. Uh, and a crop field. So let's have a look at these two. Where's this orchard? Uh, ah, it looks like something something had to be stopped there. Well, what should we put in there? Ah, uh, it's the grapes again, is it? No. The Asii are here. And thank you, everybody, for your comments on that. Let's put lemon trees in and see how we do. All right, let's put in, can I, I don't have any spare people. All right, and this crop field, what are we growing here? Here we are. Let's have a look. We need another person in there. One. Are we short of people in our crop fields? Right, let's have a look at this. Um... Let's grow peppers. All right, how are we doing there? We still need one person. There we go. That looks to be all right. Now, I have had the most brilliant tip from someone, and that is that all the time when you're running these beautiful towns, and the more beautiful they are, um, the more you have to keep cutting down all sorts of odd trees oh guys look at this now this is our apricot lodge are they making apricots no of course not uh, it's much too early but look at this beautiful circle that they've got really liking this good now I have to find various things here you are the jewelry maker do you know, it looks like we've had a lot of death. I, I didn't particularly notice it, but it just doesn't mean to say, yeah, like this area, and a merchant has arrived. What have you got to sell me, merchant? Potato seeds, yeah, let's dismiss you at the moment because I'm trying to pick up. This school's been built. Aha, no students. We would need another person in there. That's worth doing. One of one. No students in the school. Oh my goodness, we are in a death, sorry, in death rows. Yeah, okay. We're not building anything, well, we are building a market. Let's put in one builder. Right, now. Right, tips I have been given are wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So start off with when you have an area like this that you want or I want to keep clear of trees you can keep cutting them or you can actually put in a forester who will deal with it now whether I have room for a forester I don't know that's a woodcutter that's no help to you at all forester's lodge and this one cuts and plants new seedlings no Right, so I actually, I don't want that one. Do we get a choice? We don't. Mm. But what I would like to do is to put him... I can't quite get him where I want him. That would do. All my, really where I want him is here. Um, I don't mind if he overlaps to some extent. No, I just don't have the room, do I? I could take out one of these crop fields, I suppose. So if I had him there, that would actually be very good. So why don't we, um, what's that? 
Right, we have a stockpile with nothing in it, so let's take that out. And Red Ketchup, thank you very much for telling me where I was going wrong on deleting the dot pieces. I was assuming they were the normal deletion tool, but in fact, you have to use this remove structures tool. They're a structure. So, we are using the wrong tool. That makes a difference. Right, back to trying to get this forester in. Yeah, if I put him there, let's have a look at where his circle is. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. We've... Um, yeah, that will cover that area that I want to keep clear. And when we've built him, we'll just put one forester in and we'll make sure that he just cuts, that he doesn't plant. At least that is the theory. So that's one of the wonderful tips I've been given. Um, so I'm looking now for the old creamery because Red Ketchup told me you know, I'm, I'm trying to think where I've got this creamery. I think it's down here, or it used to be. He told me that the old creamery is set up to actually have a house over it. So if I can find it, you are the old creamery. Right, so now this should, we should be able to set up. A boarding house, no, a stone house, a wooden house, right, so if we go to the, not canal, housing toolbar, and we need the country little house, no, country little house, no, Boston, no, NMT. Now this one I'm in, oh this is the one, multi-level. Now apparently, and I think we'd need the stone one, it's set up to take the second floor. Um, I'm not sure which way around I've got this. That must be the way. Do we have an option of different, oh we do. I want that one. That looks wonderful. Should it come one forwards? Let me come down and have a look. Um, it's difficult to get this place correctly. Um, I think... Let me look from the side. Oh, other side. So if I place it there... That looks about right to me. That's fantastic. It doesn't, no, it's absolutely there, isn't it? Look at that, guys. So that gives us a second story. Thank you, Red Ketchup. I ha this is where it's so fantastic actually having a developer following what you're doing because they actually tell you what they're doing we're short of people again guys oh uh, and unfortunately i put this one too close right we are going to actually move we're going to delete this <gasps> how dare i we're going to remove that structure and then we're going to move it this way so that i can get the house on it I think that's just a fantastic idea. This is this is one of the things that makes these so great. Um, I really must have a, a look at the options too. Um, now, I have had the most fantastic tip um, as we have no labourers, no builders. Um, I've not built enough houses and I've got people, these are the two dairy workers. Um, <clears throat> We've got children coming through. I've got one labourer. That will do for the time being. So I've had a most fantastic tip from Dub Duke, who said that you can decorate pastures and graveyards. So instead of having these rather dull-looking graveyards, um, we can actually put things in. Now, I think 
that we would have to go to can we go to ghost i don't know if we have ghost options here but can i put can i put a cherry tree i would love to put a, a cherry tree in a graveyard i mean so nice these are very wonky cherry trees makes them wonderful though let's have that one but what a lovely idea a decorative maple that's beautiful idea and of course we ought to have a decorative birch no we get birches everywhere a cedar oh definitely for a graveyard and I don't mind it being against the gravestones because a lot of people build um, they, they have trees at the head of their um, my goodness what am I talking about decorative flowers yeah trees at the head of their graves and the reason they do that of course um, is to celebrate a little bit the nature and things I think this is wonderful but I don't care what color these are just being able to put flowers in the graveyard and look at this guys what's not to like what is not to like so I think that Dub Duke you have just given me a tip that is going to really enhance not just this red ketchup mod but also all the others as well now I can't remember, let me go across to this area, yeah, because I'm having trouble keeping trees out of this area. And again, it's the idea of building a forester here. What are we, what are we missing? A person. Goodness, we're going through a death spurge here. I'm quite sure that it will even itself out. Um, I'm a little bit more relaxed. I'm just going to dismiss that because I'm not sure what we need. So, back to where we were over here. <clears throat> now, if I can build a forester again here, um, and I do wish I had a... I mean, maybe I've got a choice in here of foresters. Oh my goodness, look at this lot. Um, resource toolbar. Decorations, no resources. I see no foresters. Tool, oh, just as needed. Yes, please, allow. How fantastic. Good. Well, we'll certainly get some more builders in there and some of you can live above the old creamery. Let's get six builders in. Here we go. That's wonderful. Yeah, and this whole area where we're getting all these other trees coming in. We need a forester in this area too. What have you lost? A person. I seem to have a, an amazing loss of people here. I'm... No. Is that right? Have we got somebody there? No citizens are available. Yes, they are now. Right, well that sorted out the water tower. The schoolhouse. You know, I feel that there's been a, a death splurge when I wasn't looking. Who are you? Market cart, right. 99% full. That's working well, I think. Good. You're short of... Yeah, copper, I knew probably would be Forester's Lodge. Let's find you. Good, so you're just going to cut and we're just going to have one person. Perfect. Uh, there we go. We obviously were short of a forester somewhere. I tell you what, these labourers have come in at the right time, haven't they? That one's being built. The old creamery close that down Forester's Lodge Rock Quarry wow that's running out soon I think beautiful and also people have said you know why do you agonize over the fences here 
uh, red ketchup said that. <laughs> Why don't you use ghost fencing? And that's absolutely right. Absolutely right. Uh, okay. So all that is good. Now, he was also saying that... Now, I've covered... He says, one of my problems on iron is that I've got blacksmiths making iron instead of a foundry. And that apparently is a very expensive way to do it. Yes. You're making iron tools, that's fine. You're making iron here. And he said that a foundry would be better because um, this takes three iron ores. A foundry would only take two. So there's a whole difference there. So let's see if we can find a foundry. Um, We've got so much stuff. I want to explore here still. Foundry. Oh yes, it's one of these gorgeous buildings, isn't it? Would I get one in there? I probably would. So, oh gosh, we hate doing this, but why don't we um, delete? And it's quite a sophisticated building too, which I quite like. So let's delete. Oh, I'm always terrified when I delete a blacksmith. Let's just move that up there, then we know it's been doing. These are the smiths, obviously, not enjoying themselves. I, it's a stone house. I really feel I want a forester here too. Um, so let's see if we can get, no, 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 no. Let's see if we can get, um, the fisherman drowned. <gasps> no, no. But that often happens, actually. Um, funny enough, a lot of fishermen can't actually swim. Where would that circle cover? Gosh, it covers the bits I want it to cover. I want it, I actually want it there. Um, this is the trouble. Instead of building it from the beginning, I'm sort of building it at the end, which is not ideal. But if we got, yeah, at least if we put it there, it would cover some of this area. We'll do that. We'll build another forester's lodge. And this also will provide us with more um, words, Ashantin, words. It will provide us with more logs. Right, okay. Just occasionally, guys, when you're trying to record, you can actually lose it. <laughs> How are we doing on stone? We have a lot and we have labourers. So while we are doing that, let's just get ourselves a little bit more efficient here. And it looks better too. Oh my goodness. Look at all this. No wonder we're slowing people down. Yeah, that's looking good. And it makes such a difference having these cemeteries decorated. I suspect we will need another one soon. How are we on cemeteries? Yes, almost full. 20, yeah, that one's full. That one's 21 is full. Oh no, not measles. Oh dear, everything will slow down. Now we need some more houses and, oh dear, gosh, look at this. Look at all these beautiful row of houses here. It's got six students, seven members there. That's a lovely little church. Yeah, we do need more houses. We had not got enough. So why don't we come along here? Um, I see, now this is where I can use the advice I've been given to remove that structure. But I'm going to put in another, I hope, another dock house would be good. If you don't get the docks in, toolbar, no. Um, here we are, docks, housing, right. Let's take a move the forester's lodge. 
Doc House, we like it. Now, I think actually that what I might like to do, I don't want it right up against the schoolhouse. That would not look good, would it, guys? But we could certainly put one there. So let's get at least a Doc House in there while we're waiting to decide what we do with our other housing. The docks are starting to look pretty good. We have a lot of slowness due to this. Yeah, died of old age, died of old age. But because we took the nomads, thank goodness for nomads, we are replacing people. Yeah, nice. Now, the other... The other one I wanted to look at was I was looking at, um, where was I looking at putting housing? I think it was down here. Yeah, we've got a lot of chickens here, beautiful places here. Now we've got a whole load of dock uh, areas here, but Red Ketchup told me something else. He said, if I look at the home, no, 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 no. Red Ketchup, housing toolbar, and these, I didn't understand, but can you see this wavy line under here? This, apparently, um, what's that? Yeah, for housing. And apparently these will go over water. Let me, let me turn around. I can see what I'm doing. Oh, look at that. They will. You can get some of them slightly over water. And these apparently are perfect for creeks and rivers. I, of course, am looking at the sea, which is no use at all. But if we were to come down here, you know, everyone's going so slowly because of this problem. Now, we've got quite a large area over here, haven't we? Yeah, I want to keep this one free as well of uh, extraneous trees. This is annoying me. So let's have a look at Forester's, Forester's Lodge. Okay. I want to cover that area. Of course, it won't... F right, we may have to have two here, guys. That would, that would be helpful there. All right, let's put one... Um, yeah, there... All right, and when that one's built, we will be able to sort that out. Dock house we're looking at. And then these creeks, apparently, we can put these little houses there. So let's have a look at this. I'm red ketchup goes first. Let's leave those to build quietly. We might put just another couple of builders in. Um, and let's have a look at this. Red ketchup houses. So it's the ones that will actually go, and in this area, near the beekeepers, what would we like? Oh, so many finishes. Let's go for this rather than, and so it would go, nice. I do like that. That's absolutely perfect. What a lovely look. And you can't get a normal house there. That's just gorgeous. Well, we'll this is going to be so helpful uh, because I can now get some labourers. Colourful little house options too. What's that? Oh, I see. Um, wait a minute. Let me come back to red ketchup. Are we still on this? Yes, we are. But this too, oh my goodness, um, I see. So you go for this for that and then the other one for the roofs. I think we'll s just stick to that at the moment. And right, nice. Let's just get these in. That's, will it go there? It will. Lovely. Oh, perfect. See, this is, this is, I'm so excited about this. So excited. 
what a brilliant thing to think of that so we can now I know these are all the same guys but I'm yeah uh, we want a gap perfect I really really like this idea that you can build them over creeks and would we get another one there we will not but that's giving us more houses and that will also help us enormously obviously with our housing problem but also with our children problem as well my goodness we are still going slowly we've still got two people so let's have a look at the dock area i think i have um, a medicine man here but I'm not sure that's a house dock house blacksmith are you yeah you're making iron see I need a foundry here steel tools yeah okay we can we can work on this so where do I have a medicine man I'm not sure I do and I'd very much like one. Do I have a, I have a dock house in there, yes. So let's see if we can go to the, ah, there we are. Do we have a hospital? Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. Um, and if I come round here, oh, that is, that is just, that's really so good yeah so um, let me work out which way round it goes and oh, we've obviously got something being built there maybe the hospital could go I think that's right we come round here and yeah we could put it right in there couldn't we let's leave one I don't think it's a good idea to put a you know yeah that dock house is still being built um, we are we still going at some unbelievably slow speed can we please go to that speed um, you know if even if they're ill we can do this good and a merchant has arrived so what have we got yeah fine let's just not bother with that at the moment more children being born we dropped a few in people but that's okay that's okay um so going through all that so we've covered the tip on the foundry build foundries don't use blacksmith smelting iron we've covered the bit on remaining docks um, how to remove dock pieces the old creamery we love we've found these wonderful little houses that go over water and the other thing that uh, red ketchup said is don't place flowers in winter well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please leave a like if you did. Follow me on YouTube and you can contact me on Twitter if you want to. Bye-bye.